going to show you how to clear the cache on your Amazon Fire Stick side and then within Kodi. And the reason that you want to clear the cache is pretty much it's a fancy word for memory and it slows down your sticks whenever you are adding all of this backed up memory onto your sticks. So what you would do on the Amazon side is at the very top you'd go over to settings down to apps. Now in order to do it on the Amazon side you have to do each app individually. There's no clear all. Um, okay so I know it's a little blurry here. Let me see if I can let me see if I can turn this light off if it will help. Okay so here we go. You would go down to Managed Install Apps. And then here, these apps, like here it says Amazon Music, App Store Downloads. You cannot delete these, but what you can do is like if you're not using them, you can click on them. I've cleared all mine. Over here you can see it says Cache Zero, things like that. You can clear data. And then it'll go to where it says clear data again, so you'll hit it and clear it. And you can then hit clear cache. I'm really sorry. Let me see if I can turn this fireplace light on. If, it, if it'll show the letters better. No. But anyways, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so clear data, clear cache. But one thing I want to tell you. Never, ever, ever clear the data on your Kodi. So I went into the Kodi app. You can clear cache, but do not clear data. Because if you clear your data, everything you have saved in your favorites uh, star at the bottom of your Kodi, um, inside your Pulse ad, it'll be gone and things like that. So do not clear your data. Okay, so let me go back. So here we were, we were at Install Apps. I already did Amazon Music. So you can go through each one of these, clear data, clear cache. So I'll show you again, clear data, clear data, clear cache. And then it'll come up and it'll show you zero zeros and things like that. You're pretty much just clearing out the memory. It's just the same as if you had a smartphone and it's telling you your memory's full. It can't do anything else. So that's what happens here. And how you check your memory on your Amazon was, I'll go back. So I was at the home screen here. I went to settings. I go down to apps, click on it. And then when you come down here, don't click on manage install apps. If you just highlight it, it'll show you your space. If you are halfway, or below you're good once you reach over half I would start deleting apps that you do not use once you reach over half of your total memory on your whole stick which is right here where you will see it things will start to slow down significantly okay so I'm gonna hit my home button so you can go through each one of your apps and download I'm sorry delete the cache and clear the data but do not clear data for your Kodi app um, right here in your Amazon screen. You'll lose everything. Okay, so once we get into Kodi, alright, so now how do you do it inside Kodi is you go over to systems and down to pulse cleaner at the bottom here. And I've noticed that my Kodi is, has been pretty, it's been lagging, it's kind of been really slow, and things like that. And I noticed what helped is clearing the cache and unplugging my router, my internet router from the wall for like two minutes. Plugging it back in, it kind of reboots everything, and it really did help. Um, okay, so the first one, clear cache. Don't do any of the rest because quite frankly I'm gonna be honest I don't know what it will do but if you happen to accidentally do it it's probably gonna mess it up but I can fix it for you but clear cache it's really that simple you hit delete yep we do want to delete it and it comes down and it says it removed X amount of files so 
your cache when you're inside the Cody is things like if you've watched a movie inside Exodus and then it gives you a check mark by that movie, or if you are, um, let's see, inside TV shows and you've watched four or five episodes, it might put up a check mark by that episode. Um, also, when you're in an app, sometimes you will have, like I'm going to open Elysium. Sometimes you will have where it says recently viewed or in progress. Here you go. I like to I like to go left, hit my middle button twice because I like the thumbnails. But like the in progress, it will store what you've been watching and things like that. So whenever you're clearing out the cache, which I just did, so I'm not going to have anything stored, um, it'll clear all that memory out too. Um, okay. So, mine's working pretty good right now compared to what it was. Um, any app that you go into, no matter what you do, if you push left on your round button, you can then change the view, um, list, info, info, list, things like that. I don't care for the list. I like the boxes. And the reason that I do is because, like if I go into in theaters, Come on. I like to see the movie case. The movie case. Like, I like to see the actual movies like this with the picture on the case. Um, versus if I hit left, a lot of times if you... Eventually it will remember what your last selection was. But for the most part, it will probably come up for you guys as a list which will look like this, where you guys can just go through it. But if you hit left, view's already highlighted, so you just hit your middle button twice, and it'll change it. Now I know some people, they actually like to hit it to where it'll give you a description, like this, where it'll give you the name, and then it'll show you the year, and give you a little description about it. Here's another cool trick I wanna show you. So let me go back. I'm going to go back to how I like it, which is like this. All right. If you are on a movie, you don't know what it's about or anything like that, hit your hamburger button. The button I call hamburger is the three lines right here. If you hit that, you can now watch a trailer. You can put it in your favorites. You can play it right from here. Things like that. So the official trailers are attached to each one of these thumbnails. So if you hit the hamburger button, you get this option menu, and you hit trailer, the Lost City of Z is what I pulled up, it's going to start playing the Lost City of Z's official trailer. I'm going to pause it. But the reason that I like to do that is because if you don't know what the movie's about, well, you can watch the trailer, which is really nice. And it's on every single movie that they have on here, there is a trailer. So I hit pause. Now I'm going to hit my back button, going to back out of this. It's going to go back to the previous screen that I was on. And then to get rid of that trailer behind me, I'm hitting left, and I'm going all the way down, and I'm hitting my stop button. And that's going to delete the movie in the background. Or if you hit full screen, it'll put it back to the movie. Well, not the movie, but in this case, it's the trailer. So I hit pause, and I hit back. It's going to load the previous screen, then I'm going to hit left, and this time I'll stop it. So I didn't know if you guys knew that, but there is a trailer on every um, movie. For instance, the Spider-Man Homecoming, it's just coming out in theaters. There's no link or stream to that right now, but if I hit my hamburger button and watch the trailer, the trailer is probably already preloaded. But what really sucks is when you watch the trailer and you get excited about a movie and then it's no stream available because it's too new but as you can see I paused it but um, the trailer is there okay so I'm gonna pause it again I'm gonna show you guys something else here at the bottom it says 720 720 is what it's being streamed in right now so as you guys probably know 1080 is the highest other than 4k which right now there's not a lot on there for 4k then of course there's 3d which I don't have a 3D TV. Well, actually, I think it is, but I don't ever activate it. We don't have glasses and stuff. 
Um, so it's 1080p is the highest, uh, then it goes 720, then it goes oh, 360 maybe, and then it does standard, standard definition. So if you ever see SD where the 720 is, that means it's standard definition, or it will give you a number and tell you what it's being played in. This, the 2.0, that's your sound. If you see it go up to 5.0, that's your uh, surround sound. So it's telling you that it's being played in or broadcasted or streamed in uh, surround sound, which is really nice. So sometimes I've watched movies on here that it's like, man, I have my volume on my TV all the way up and I cannot hear the damn movie. Well, if you go looking at it, it's probably like a 1.0. So my best uh, suggestion to you would be to go exit out, pick a new stream source, and see if the volume's any better. Okay, so I'm going to back out. I hit my back button. And I'm going to hit left, and I'm just going to push up till I get to the bottom. And I'm going to exit it. But I just want to let you guys know, clear out your cache on your Amazon side by going to the settings and then apps and then clearing cache and clearing data. You can also force stop, which is really nice too. Do not clear cache on, I'm sorry, do not clear data. Let me go back. Do not clear data under settings, under apps. Do not clear data on your Kodi. If you do, you will be screwed. Right here, clear data. Don't do it. If your Kodi ever freezes and it's just, I mean, it's just like a black screen, you can come in here, you can force stop. It's just like rebooting. That's fine. And, it, and then it will load everything again. And as it loads back up, it'll start updating all of your apps, which is really nice. So uh, do that. Do that on all your apps here. These things can't be deleted. They come preloaded. But like Kodi can, Netflix can things like that that you've loaded on, it can be. So clear your data, clear your cache, but don't clear data on Kodi. Then when you're inside the Kodi app, go over to, let me go back, go over to systems, down to pulse cleaner, and clear cache in here. So you'll hit the first one, then it'll say, are you sure you want to delete? You'll say delete. It's gonna say, two files and that's because I just opened two trailers to show you in the video so two trailers got cached and stored as memory so do that you can do that every day if you want it will help your stick and then also don't forget when you're inside an app use that hamburger button there's always other options and and stuff use the trailers and things like that okay guys